With the new year comes Florida's new law that further legalizes medical marijuana. However, as things stand right now, the law is not ready to be put into effect and is already proving to be confusing to numerous patients. Channel 4 Scott Johnson has been looking into it and he's joining us live with what he's found out. Scott. Well, Mary, for a few years now, you've been able to get medical marijuana through maybe a doctor's office could help guide you to get it for very few ailments. That's been since 2014. Then Amendment 2 passes late last year. But the law technically has not been written yet, will not be ready to be implemented for many more months. In 2014, Florida passed a law that allows what's called low THC medical marijuana for some patients with cancer or chronic spasms and seizures. And a stronger form is allowed for terminally ill patients. Only a few doctors are trained and allowed to recommend it. That has been a source of confusion for many, like Tanya Worley, who tells me her 11-year-old son suffers from seizures multiple times a day and medications just won't work. I've looked into it, um, trying to um, find doctors in, in, in our area. I've been seeing me get conflicting reports and, and kind of run around when I called a few places. Um, right now he goes to um, Nemours, the neurology department there, um, and waiting to get in for an appointment to um, try to discuss it with a doctor in person. Amendment 2 will open up medical marijuana to more medical conditions like AIDS and PTSD. But Dr. Harold Lasky, a Jacksonville-based doctor who's also president of Florida's Medical Marijuana Society, says the amendment may take effect now, but the law still needs to be written. This time, though, they've made it a lot more specific. For example, they talked about amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or Lou Gehrig's disease. They're talking about uh, glaucoma, which they didn't mention at all. And even with the muscle spasms, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis. It will take six months for the new law to be written, then likely another three months for it to be put into effect so it won't really be ready until possibly october and doctors often won't initially recommend it what they would like is that the person who has been taking other medicines which is not working so this would be the next step up so we put a link at our website, newsforjacks.com, actually a couple links that can help you, guide you to roughly a dozen or so doctors in our area right now who can get you to a medical marijuana dispensary. That number may expand in the future. We don't know. Um, also, it can give you a list of ailments that are covered now, as well as ones that will be covered under the new law. Live on the South Side, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. So, Scott, right now, at least six licensed dispensaries in the state, just a handful of doctors mm -hmm. who can recommend medical marijuana here in our area. Are those numbers expected to increase when this law is fully implemented? Tom, that's the unknown at this point. I talked to doctors about that. They say they don't really know if they're going to ease up restrictions, let doctors more easily help you get access to this. They don't know if more uh, dispensaries will be needed. These are things we'll probably learn as they write this law over the next few months. Tom? Thank you, Scott. Scott Johnson reporting to us live.